Madam Chairwoman, you have quite a rack. <laughs> yes. Anybody going hunting? I've taken the season off. All right. All that's missing is the red nose. Well, I have a head. Ooh, ooh. Echo. I haven't had my eggnog yet. It's early. Okay, so it's three o'clock. Um, uh, I'll call this meeting to order. Mike, could you call the roll? You got it, Chair Kleinfeld. I'll start with Chair Smith. Sorry, Mike. Uh, Chair Smith, uh, attending remotely, Macomb Township, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Duje. Attending right. remotely from Warren, uh, County of Macomb, State of Michigan, Northern Hemisphere, Third Rock from the Sun. Commissioner Sauger. Commissioner Sauger. Commissioner Kleinfeld. Commissioner Kleinfeld, East Point, Macomb County, Michigan, present. Commissioner Romano. Commissioner Romano, District 4, Sterling Heights, present and participating remotely in Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Majek. Commissioner Majek, attending remotely, Sterling Heights, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Carabelli. Carabelli. Oh, sorry. Commissioner Brown. Commissioner Brown attending remotely from Washington Township, Macomb County. Commissioner Kraft. Commissioner Kraft attending remotely from Chesterfield Township, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Leonetti. Commissioner Leonetti attending remotely from Mount Clemens, Michigan. Commissioner Haw. Commissioner Haw attending remotely from Roseville, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Lacido. Madam Chair, that completes the roll. Thank you. Okay, please rise for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I need a motion to adopt the agenda. Commissioner Romano adopts the agenda. Is there support? Support, Leonetti. Okay, we have motion and support. Please vote. Commissioner Brown votes aye. That motion passes 10 to 0. Thank you. All right, I need a motion to approve the uh, minutes of November 10th and November 16th, 2020. Is there a motion? So move, Haw. Huh? Is there support? Support from Kraft. Thank you. Please vote. Brown votes aye. That motion passes 10 to 0. Thank you. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the public participation on items uh, on the agenda. Is there anyone that wishes to be heard? If you're on your phone, hit star 6 to unmute. Anyone wishes to be heard? Okay, I don't see anybody on here. Anyone wishes to be heard? Seeing none, we'll close the hearing of the public.
appointment interviews for the Building Authority Commission. We have seven vacancies. Ron Trombley, Butch Hasig, George Penna, Vince Viviano, Derek Wolczynski, Pastor Rodney Tolbert, and Treasurer Larry Roca. Um, so I know we have two in attendance here. Um, if you'd like to come up and say a few words about yourself, let's start with um, Mr. Hasig. Okay, well, he's working on that. Then we'll go to um, Mr. Tolbert. Good evening. I'm Pastor Rodney Tolbert, and I uh, would just want to say that I'm happy to be uh, on the uh, reselected for the uh, board authority. I, I've been on it for the past two years already, and I, I thank the opportunity to be back on it again. So uh, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you. Um, are there any other um, appoint, uh, uh, appointments before us that would like to speak, that would like to introduce themselves? Yeah, they might not know how to unmute. Yes, I said if you're on the phone, uh, hit star six to unmute. And um, give good, it good afternoon, this is Ron. Good afternoon, this is Ron Trombley, commissioners. Hi. Yes, I'd just like to uh, thank the commissioners for any uh, consideration uh, for appointment to the Building Authority Commission. I have a, a lifelong Macomb County resident previous Lennox Township supervisor, um, previous chair to the Solid Waste Committee, and look forward to uh, staying involved in uh, uh, the county and the community. Thank you. Okay, do any commissioners have any questions? I don't see any. I have a quick question, and I'm thinking maybe for S Steve, I'm not sure. I know what building authorities usually what their job is, um, but I don't know that our buildings are owned by our building authority because everything has gone through the executive and gone through us. Um, who can tell me what what their role is versus not having one at all? Because it seems, it's, it, I was thinking, Steve, you could answer this. It seems to be yeah, different yeah. than what I've experienced before. Yeah, so we, we have, uh, I believe, three possibly four bond issues outstanding that were issued by the building authority originally. The re actually refunding issues of issues that were issued by the building authority back in the 2000s, early mid, early mid 2000s. So what the building authority does is they um, meet once a year to approve debt service payments on those issues. Okay, so they don't have the traditional role. They used to have the traditional role that I was thinking of. That's correct. So the, the construction bonds that were issued for the Central Camp Campus renovations in 2015 did not go through the building authority after the essentially change in the form of government. Okay, thank you. All right, so um, we just need a motion to move this on to full board. Is there a motion? Motion by motion. Uh, Hard. Motion by Hart, supported by Duche. Please vote. Brown votes aye. I do too. Chair sure, Kleinfeld, this is one of those um, slow internet days, so just one more second. You should see a prompting on your screen shortly here. All right, thank you. It finally came up. Oh, my civic clerk isn't orange anymore, so I got to go out of it and come back in. So I vote aye. Okay, with uh, Chair Kleinfeld's vote, that motion passes 10 to 0. Thank you. All right, next we have um, Finance Department 2020 third quarterly financial report. So we'll open it up to Steve. Yeah, good afternoon again, Commissioners. Good to see everyone. Um, before you, you have the uh, quarterly financial report for Q3 of 2020. I won't spend a lot of detail or a lot of time talking about details um, unless I have, you know, questions from Commissioners. 
I guess the important thing to note is, as you'll see in the next agenda item relative to the um, requested budget amendment, we are uh, trending very nicely in the general fund for 2020. You've heard me mention that on a number of occasions in the particularly the last quarter of the year as we went through the budget cycle and so on. So, you know, we're looking at a surplus in the general fund of somewhere close to 10.4 million based on what uh, my office was seeing through the end of November. I guess that's the that's the big message we've talked about, you know, revenues being a little, you know, under budget because of, of COVID, but we're also saving um, significant amounts of money on the expense side of the ledger particularly in personnel and capital outlay. We do have operating savings in other categories I've mentioned before, utilities and travel and mileage and gasoline. For example, jury fees, prisoner medical, you know, there's a few others. Um, and again, we are taking um, some reductions or some hits on the revenue side relative to real estate transfer tax and some other fee revenues that sort of offset some of those operating uh, savings at the same time. But end of the day, um, you'll see uh, there's a more detailed schedule uh, on the next item, but about a $10.4 million surplus from what we were seeing two or three weeks ago. With that, I'll take any questions commissioners may have. Thank you, Steve. I don't see any commissioners. Let me get a motion to receive and file. <clears throat> Support. Okay, did somebody... I'll make a motion, and I'll support it. <laughs> All right, moved by Kraft and supported by Brown. I still don't see any speakers. Um, please vote. And for those of you that are joining the Building Authority, I was moving too quickly. I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to uh, join us in this meeting and introduce yourself, and thank you for um, doing that for Macomb County. I appreciate it. That motion passes 10 to 0. Thank you. All right. Okay. So next we have the budget amendment, general fund, year-end estimates. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. Support by Romano. Move by Duje, supported by Romano. Give me just a second here. Sorry. All right, I don't see any speakers. Any any questions? Madam, Madam Chair, I have a question. Okay, and you know what? I should have opened it for up for Steve to speak. Do you want me to have him speak first? No, I, I pretty much understand it. I just have another question for Steve, if, I, if that's okay. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Hey, Steve, good to see you. Hey, question for you. Um, the 10.4 million, um, when you were in front of us a couple of weeks ago, you had indicated there was three options on what we could do with it. One was to apply it to some bonds. Uh, the other one was maybe for capital improvements. And then the third one was to just maybe kind of leave it in there in a, in a fund where we could, you know, access it or you could access it. What, what, do you have any thoughts on what you think the best course would be, what, what the administration is looking for, what you think the best course would be for the county in terms of, of, of a finance director? Yeah, I, the best course is what's being presented before you today, commissioners. That was my recommendation to the executive's office. And what we're, you know, essentially talking about is um, moving money, funding public safety payroll with CARES dollars, as we've spoken about, and then essentially two large movements out of the general fund, $14.5 million roughly to the debt service fund, which would be set aside to retire bond issues early, and then $10.8 million going to uh, the capital improvement fund to fund uh, capital projects pretty much to we're earmarking in 2022 for renovations at the uh, <clears throat> for the health department over at the uh, service center site and also the Southeast Health Building in St. Clair Shores. And the idea behind this is to set that money aside out of this year's budget, that's where the surplus lies, and smooth the budgetary impact of capital projects out over years, basically. What I would really like to see is that we get to a point where 
we are budgeting a, a set amount every year to go into the capital improvement fund. We used to do that years ago, and that's what I would like to see. It smooths out budgets. It, it prevents large spikes in surpluses in certain years and decreases or large uh, losses in other years. And it, I know particularly I'll make this statement surrounding this budget amount. I know there's some concern on the part of commissioners that once the money is out of the general fund in the capital improvement fund that it's sort of out of sight, out of mind, and uh, the commissioners um, may believe that they lose some control over how we spend that money. And I think I've tried to explain in the attachment that the idea behind this is this would go into a specific fund and it would be the only money in that fund essentially. And then you would get a report along with the quarterly report that would show the general ledger activity for that fund. And as you see money going out of that fund, we should be able to go back and tie that to specific board actions that were authorized to move money for uh, individual projects. Okay, great. No, I appreciate that, Steve. I appreciate that explanation at the end. Uh, goes a long way. Um, of course, I won't be here, but I'm just thinking for the future and whatever's the best way to resolve it. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Steve, um, I got confused because I thought that was, I thought that, that that was what we voted on a couple of weeks ago. I thought we had already done that budget amendment. Did we just only have discussion on it? I think we only had discussion. What you voted on two or three weeks ago was a, a similar mechanical action that was moving money out to fund the medical examiner's project. The yeah, No, I wasn't thinking about yeah. that. I was thinking specifically yeah. about this. So yeah, we've had other discussions about this at other meetings, but never anything formally in front of you to approve. Okay, and, and, and I agree with you. I think it would be great to get to the point where we budget a specific amount every year and put it in capital outlay. And the, the fastest way to achieve that is if we get uh, read-only access to the system. So, <laughs> so with that, there is a motion in support. Please vote. Brown vote side. And no, Steve, I didn't expect a response on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the idea, that's the idea behind this capital improvement fund is to provide detail to what goes in there and what goes out so commissioners can see where the money is, how money is flowing into individual projects. All right, I, I already voted and it's come up again, so I guess I'll vote again. Thank you, Chair Kleinfeld. We had a little glitch, so I prompted the vote again, and that passes 10 to 0. Thank okay. you, Commissioner. Thank you. All right, uh, correspondence, we we have none. Get down here. New business. Does anyone have any new business? I just have one thing I would just like to say. I should have written it. Army did a really good job on Saturday against Navy, and I just wanted to say, yay, Army. So uh, it was uh, very exciting to watch that. Anyway, um, public participation, does anyone wish to be heard? Chair Kleinfeld, I'm sorry. This is no, go ahead. I'm sorry, Chair Smith, go ahead. I was just wondering if you had any uh, anything you could tell us about what's going on at MAC, anything interesting there? I know... Uh, you would be the one to tell us. I, I thought I'd heard something recently that they were doing some things uh, with the state budget and some of the things with the governor with the Open Meetings Act and things like that. I'm just wondering if you know anything that you could uh, enlighten us They on. were, and then um, there was a visit to the Capitol, and then the House got shut down because of a concern regarding COVID, and now they're shut down because of the um, concern about safety. So... My understanding is things kind of ground to a halt, but they were working on um, letting us meet, uh, changing the Open Meetings Act to letting us meet through the end of next year without having uh, to have a formal um, emergency.
Um, there were there were a couple of other things. I don't have them written down right now, but um, everything kind of slowed down after uh, the problems with the Capitol being open. So I'm not sure where everything stands right now. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Madam Chair, it's Commissioner Kraft. I can chime in a little bit. Thank you. Um, you're right. They were closed basically all last week because of COVID. They are closed today, but they are in session the rest of this week as as of right now, I haven't heard any different, but tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and their agendas are packed. So we'll see what comes out of it. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Is that what they Thank call you. lame duck? Yeah. See, I don't understand it because nothing's flipping. It's not like it's an emergency except for the people are leaving. So. More dead duck. <laughs> All right. All right. Does anyone else have anything? All right, we will go on to public participation. Does anyone wish to be heard? If you wish to be heard, you could type in the chat um, or hit star six to unmute on the telephone. Does anyone wish to be heard? All right, anyone wish to be heard? Seeing none, we'll close public participation. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Move by DJ support. Support. support Support by Romano. Please vote. Brown votes aye. And I'm going to go on the assumption that that will pass, and we are adjourned. Thank you very much, Madam Chairman. Thank you. Nice look. Nice look. Well done, Madam Chairman. I've never Good seen job, that. My 30 years, I've never seen such a properly adorned chairman of the board. Like <laughs> well, I have a bell on it. Exactly. That's fun. All right. That's take care, job. guys. Take care. take care. Thanks for cheering us up. Bye.